So my name is Mark Erdman. I'm the Senior Advisor for Conservation International's Indonesia Marine Program. The Coral Triangle is comprised of the six countries of Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia, uh, Timor-Leste, Papua New Guinea, and the Solomons, uh, kind of the center of the Western Pacific. And uh, it is, without question, the epicenter of marine biodiversity uh, for the planet. At the same time, it's also probably the epicenter of human dependence upon coral reef resources. So it's really an exciting place to work in, from the perspective of how biodiversity and human needs interact. What are some of the challenges that you face in the sites in which you're, you're working right now? Well, I'd say without question, the biggest problem that we face is really overfishing and, and uh, destructive use of marine resources. That's uh, probably our biggest concern in all the areas where we work. Our main approach within uh, the areas where we work is to, to work very closely with the local governments and local communities that own these marine resources. Uh, and to work with them to increase their understanding of exactly what's going on, what the trends are that they've seen in marine resource use, and what could be done uh, in order to better manage those marine resources. I look at RARE as being an incredibly important and critical partner at this point in time uh, in our work in the sense that we have now generated a significant amount of enthusiasm and understanding in local communities and local governments in setting up marine protected areas, but what's really needed now is to increase that technical level of understanding about how no-take zones in particular need to function uh, to, to replenish the fish stocks there. And um, that's something which really requires a major social marketing campaign, and that's where we see RARE's uh, uh, role really being incredibly important to what we're doing. So when you, what, what do you feel like you're, you're going to need to do in order to take most advantage of RARE's help? Okay, I think uh, in order to, to really make the most of the opportunities being presented uh, from RARE here, obviously we want to make sure that our campaign managers are, are those that are uh, young, enthusiastic, and really passionate about the areas where they're going to be working, and we've done our best to select those type of candidates. Um, and then we, of course, want to provide all the resources which are needed uh, for them to be able to go out and do those campaigns in the most effective way possible. And what, what will success look like at the end of the day? What do you hope to see in a couple of years? Um, in terms of my judgment on whether this has been successful or not, I would say that uh, what we're really hoping, uh, very technically, is that within the next couple of years, that each of the marine protected areas where we're working and where we have rare campaigns going, uh, set up zonation systems which include at least 30% of their marine resources in no-take areas. And uh, I think that's a very realistic goal, uh, but something which, again, is definitely going to need a major social marketing campaign to, to make it effective.